welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very quick, brief bathroom makeover. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. So today we're making over my parents' guest bathroom, which is this room right here. It pretty much just needs a little TLC. We're not going to do anything major like the floors or tiles or anything like that. Just a very simple, budget-friendly, between $300 and $400 makeover. So first off, just cleaning up the space always makes it a little bit better to see what you're working with and see how to start. So I just emptied out all the things I knew for sure I did not want in there, like all the shelving. I wanted to minimize the amount of shelves and just give them one cohesive cabinet that they can store everything in. And so that's mainly where we're going to focus our budget. Uh, and then also I wanted to remove this medicine cabinet because it was kind of making the bathroom feel a little bit more dated. And I wanted to add something that was a little more modern to update the space. I found this mirror at Home Goods, I believe, for like $50 or $60. And then I wanted to update this vanity. We couldn't afford to get a new one on that budget, but we could update it and make it look a little bit better. As you could see, the bottom drawer had gotten messed up and so someone had to like screw the face of it on. So we're just gonna paint the whole thing uh, with a solid color and make it look like wood, which I shared this technique in my last video. If you wanna go check it out, I'll take more time explaining it there. But here I'm gonna give you the quick rundown. So I use chalk paint in the color Baltic Birch by Sherwin-Williams. If you need to get it, you just go to the counter at like Home Depot or Lowe's and they'll mix the color for you. After I did two coats over the whole thing, I went back over the entire thing with a furniture wax in the color Dark Antique. Since the top coat is furniture wax, it makes it slightly water resistant and holds up really well in the bathroom. So here's some stuff I grabbed from Sheen, or I don't know how to say it, Sheen, Sheen, something like that. So these two baskets, these were super inexpensive and really cute. The only downside of these is I thought they'd be able to sit on a shelf like flat, but the bottom kind of bows. So I have to figure out how to like bend them back in. But I grabbed this for the shower. So they have these like wall attachments. So I'm gonna make my own like shower caddy, but it's a little bit more chic looking because it's just black. And then I grabbed these bottles. So this one has one that says hand soap. So I'll use one of these bottles for hand soap. And then I grabbed these for the shower. So they look really pretty like amber glass. I thought they were glass, but they're actually just plastic, but they're still really nice, good quality. So I'm gonna use them body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. And then this is the cute little chic toilet brush. These are some wall hooks for towels. And then these are the hardware for the cabinet, which I don't know if this one's gonna look as good as I pictured it in my mind, uh, but that's that. Here's some more like wall hooks, which I could use in the shower because they're just a peel and stick. Um, and then a gua sha stone. And here's the handles or the poles for the the pulls for the vanity. So I went with the black just because I think it just made it look a little bit more modern. I did like brass as well, but because our mirror was already with a black frame, I thought let's keep the whole vanity with just black. And so we're changing out the hardware to black. And then I'm also doing a black faucet as well. And honestly, I love the way this turned out. I found a shelf in some of my old home decor that I used to use and so I'm putting that shelf in this bathroom since I don't need it anymore and then grabbing some decor that I already had around and using that to style this shelf. And then I found this plant at the dollar store a while back. So this is the cabinet I got from Amazon. It was about $200-ish and this is where we spent most of the budget but it was worth it because it is going to pretty much be all encompassing for the storage for the bathroom. The top has shelves and then the bottom has some drawers and this is what it looks like. And then the next thing we wanted to change out was the curtain rod and 
the shower curtain so i'm gonna use more of a traditional curtain which is not uncommon for me to use a regular curtain in the bathroom or a regular rug those are things that i actually like to do just to give it a little bit more of a high-end look because a lot of times shower curtains tend to look a little bit cheaper to me so we're gonna hang it all the way up because i have a long curtain and i'm just using this black tension rod um, just to make it look a little bit more chic and high-end um, on a budget. I think I got it from Amazon for like $20 or $25. So here's the shower situation. There's a bunch of different products, different colors, a lot going on in here. So we're going to try to minimize it and make it look super clean and chic as best we can. Obviously, the shower needs some work, but we're not going to do that today on this budget that'll have to come later on down the line. So we're gonna use our little shower caddy rack and we're gonna put it on this back side. There's some rusty hooks right here, so we're gonna take those off, clean up the shower a little bit, and then put on our new shower caddy. So I went on the most extreme hunt for a rug for this bathroom and I could not find one that I liked or loved or felt like good about. Partially the space between the toilet and the sink is very small and skinny so there's not a lot of options but honestly I could not find anything that was like remotely capturing my attention so it is what it is. I found this one rug on Amazon, but I love this rug, but I don't think it's going to work. I'll still link it in the description box, but I want something that fits right here, and that's not doing it for me. So I'm still on a hunt for a rug that would be suitable for their bathroom, but that's for another day. So I added a dangly plant here because I felt like the other plant wasn't working, and then I placed these baskets on the counter with a little candle to add back a little bit of homey vibes. Then I had some of my friends come over to help me swap out this faucet. Like I said, I wanted it to be black, so it kind of ties everything together. I don't know how to switch out faucets, and I almost wanted to try, but I'm so glad I didn't because when he was showing me how to do it, it was overwhelming. It's not my thing. We had to take a couple trips to Home Depot to grab parts to change it so it was a whole situation anyway this is how it turned out and i really love the way that the new faucet looks found this wood bath tray at marshall's for ten dollars And that's pretty much it. Let's roll the afters.
watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite part was of this makeover down in the comments. My favorite part was definitely the vanity. We were ready to throw it away. We didn't know what to do with it, but being able to fix it up and make it look pretty good, I would say <laughs> was a big win. So let me know what your favorite thing was. Um, I have so much that I wanna share with you guys so much more quickly than I'm doing it. So anyway, bear with me. I just moved into this space and so it's been a couple weeks now, but I'm excited to share it with you guys. I have a moving video coming very soon. And then after that, we will go through room by room, remaking the space over. If you guys have been here on my channel for a while, you've probably seen this space before. It's the garage space that I used to live in and my sister lived here for a little while as well. Anyway, love you guys. As always, keep spreading the love and light and I will catch you on the next one.